This is a MacBook Pro early 2011 that I recently bought and today we're gonna try and install macOS Monterey on it which should be interesting because right now it is on its officially last supported macOS which is uh, High Sierra and that's a good couple of versions behind Monterey and um, yeah we're well, just gonna see how it runs and I know there will be a couple of issues. I think it was graphics related, but I just want to know if we can get it installed at all. And you know, anyway, it's just um, done out of curiosity, basically, from my side. I mean, right now it has four gigabytes of RAM, but I ordered some more RAM for it to bump it up to eight. And yeah, um, it's a nice machine. I mean, it's a nice condition. So we're gonna try and <laughs> install Monterey. And just try it out a bit and see how it runs. So first we're gonna need the program here, Open Core Patcher. I already used this once to download the installer because that's quite a big installer. It's I think 12 gigabytes in size here. There you go. So I let that download. So I have here a USB drive and uh, we'll format it first. With a disk utility just to make sure that it's not fat formatted i think the patcher can actually format it fine but just you know to be sure build and install open core so as you can see it's a macbook pro 8 comma 1 um install to disk i think yes Okay, we have here this external disk. We'll use this. If I, yes, password. Uh, huh. I don't think that was it. Honestly, I don't think. <laughs> Create macOS installer. Yeah, should I have done that before? I don't know, mates. We'll see. Use existing macOS installer. There you go, Monterey. Yep. Now it's doing it. Okay, I suppose this is gonna take uh, quite a time because this is only a USB 2.0 machine and so it's gonna be bottlenecked by this. Anyway, there you go, it's going. So we'll be back once this is done and we can hopefully boot it up. All right, we're back. That didn't take so long. Now it popped up with this install to disk window. I already did that previously, but you know, well, let's do it again. It's building the open core here for MacBook Pro 8 comma one here. It's all the, the patches and stuff, the texts, which hopefully will work with Monterey. I have no idea, guys. It certainly can't be that easy. Here you go. Let's do it again. Uh, yeah. So that should be it. We're ready to reboot. Try to boot it. Which again, I, I don't know if it's really that easy, but uh, we'll try it. So we're gonna hold down the option key. Hello there, guys. And I'm gone. We have to pick EFI boot. Let's see what it will do. Install Monterey, I suppose. <laughs> and now we wait. Oh my God, look at this. It really booted into the installer here. And it didn't even take long. This literally took two minutes. I'm not kidding you. On a Mac that's almost 10 years old. Wow. Okay, cool. We're gonna go to this utility. I can see there's uh, yeah, a glitch in the mouse. So I think this is what we're gonna have to deal with in Monterey. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna format this. I don't want to update because there's nothing I want to 
particularly like keep on this so i'm just gonna send it here all right bye bye hi sierra there you go operation successful all right install monterey let's see if we will do it continue so far so good I agree, of course. Mac SSD. Yep. Continue. Okay. And it's installing now. Right now, this is just the same as on any other Macintosh installing Mac OS, basically. So after this, hopefully, installs successfully and we can boot to the desktop, we need to install the same patches to the internal disk so it loads the patches every time it starts up it doesn't need the drive anymore so i did not manage to catch this unfortunately but it rebooted put it back into the boot switcher on its own and also selected the usb on its own so oh my god this patching this has really come a long way so right now we are at the like real install phase as you can see 29 minutes remaining we'll wait We'll see if it succeeds, but at this point, I'm pretty confident that it will. The voiceover quick start. Voiceover speaks descriptions of yeah. items on the screen and can no, be no, used no, to no. control. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, we made it. Can you believe it or not? Here you have Monterey installed on a 2011 MacBook. I mean, that's crazy. So we're gonna set it up now and see how it will perform. Oh yeah, I'm leaving this USB still plugged in because I did a little research and it should pop out a message to install the patches to the disk with the USB still attached. As much as I'd love to choose the dark um it's probably not the uh, best for the camera yeah it makes it all hard to read and turns it into a mirror so i'm gonna stick with light just for the video and here we are mac os monterey turn up the screen oh what is it doing now oh whoa 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 oh it locked out why did it log out <laughs> I didn't do anything. Okay, let's log back in. <laughs> I just wanted to turn up the screen brightness. Now it works, okay. I don't know what that was. Um, And I'm waiting for the message. Well, while we're waiting for this mysterious message, I would like to go to here. Ah, yeah, here is the message, okay. Open Core Language Patcher has detected that you are booting from USB. Would, if you would like to boot your Mac normally without USB, you can install it to the hard drive. So we'll install the patches to the hard drive, of course. Install to disk. So we can just boot it like a normal Mac. Uh, it's a SanDisk. Yep. Okay. Adding a SSD icon. Why is that taking so long? <laughs> okay. Will not reboot yet. I want to do one setting before because what goes a little bit on my nerves is this click because this trackpad has this infamous thing where all the dirt like accumulated over the years under it so it makes it kind of unpleasant and hard to click so i will set it to tap to click and now yeah it's better so well it checked the usb now okay it is ejected go to about this mac and there we have it mac os monterey <laughs> wow it was really that easy I did like I did expect that to be honest with you. As you see, four gigabytes of RAM, HD graphics, 
and uh, yeah, MacBook Pro 8 comma <laughs> one. This is unbelievable. Imagine that. And before we're gonna continue with this testing, I want to reboot it and see if um, it will actually boot without uh, USB now. Um, oh, it recommends me to service the battery even even that works. <laughs> ah, glitch! A little bit of a glitch here. Okay, but anyway, let's try it. USB is unplugged. Well, what I'll also unplug is the, the Ethernet, the LAN cable, because I want to test the Wi-Fi, see how that works. All right, let's boot it up into, hopefully, Monterey. It's just white. And it went into the boot switcher now, okay, yeah. Starts it up, yep, that's looking good. That's looking absolutely fine. As I said, this is, it is basically as if we're hackintoshing. Basically, just easier, because it's a real Mac, it can do all this SM bio stuff on its own really, really fast, pre-configured by the developers. And that's what it does, it patches. So, pretty powerful, this open core stuff. And um, there you go, boot it right up. Okay, so, I mean, I, I haven't tested it at all, you know, I don't know how it really runs, if we have any issues, if we're gonna crash, I don't know, mates. Um, but let's try the Wi-Fi first, because that's obviously very important. It sees the Wi-Fi, and we can uh, connect to it, hopefully. Yep, that's looking good. That's looking good. Let's go into Safari and do something that no Apple fanboy likes to see. We're gonna download Mozilla Firefox and oh, the, the keyboard, there's something wrong with the keyboard. It, it kind of, yeah, it types a Y even though there should be a set. Okay, it's not set to Austrian. No, it should be, yep, okay. I mean, this keyboard situation is not that ideal for me again, but it is what it is, okay? So, I mean, this this is the latest freaking Safari. This is a good browser, don't get me wrong. It's just I don't like Safari. <laughs> um, but anyway, we got another of Firefox. And uh, yeah, we're gonna check out the Safari version, Safari 15.6. This is insane. There you go. Latest Safari, latest operating system. I mean, I mean now there is Ventura about to be released. That's the next Mac OS. But right now, as of today, this is the latest Mac OS. <laughs> this is insane. This is so cool. Keep in dock. What is it doing? Okay, it, it's not in the dock. Cool. Awesome. We have Firefox. Let's see what else we have. I mean, I'm personally not that familiar with um, Monterey at all because I don't use a Mac anymore for years now. But I don't know, so I don't know what's the new features, but I know those are those applications that run on metal and so let's see if the stock app works yeah that runs on metal maybe it should why should it not the whole os is now based upon metal welcome to stocks i saw a slight lag there but can you be mad at it honestly we need to cut this thing some slack this is a second gen i5 processor you know sandy bridge processor um 2011 machine, you know, HD graphics. <laughs> I mean, what what can we expect nowadays? Like super cutting edge performance? Probably not. Okay, and it locked up. Or I did something wrong. But I think it locked up. Or it's still loading. I don't know. So right now, with this application launched, which I think, again, it crashed. So let's close it. <laughs> 
Uh, it's not that important. I don't want to see my stocks at the moment anyway. Not the best of times. A little bit of lag. A little bit, slightly. Well, quite, quite noticeably, but yeah, that's what we have. And right now it's idling and it's using 20-ish percent of power, 25%-ish memory. Yeah, this could need a memory upgrade. I mean, this has four gigabytes. Right now it's using 2.3 in idle while doing nothing, which, you know, nowadays modern operating system, I get it. So with eight, it should be quite okay, honestly. I'm gonna leave that memory stuff open. I'm gonna play a YouTube video. Because honestly, what are we gonna do with this nowadays? We're gonna surf the web and you know maybe do some office stuff, but that's really all we do. So let's go to YouTube. And I uh, see there's there's some slight lag on it, which um might be due to like incompatibilities because again this is developed by community community project community text and patch and so this is all you know done by uh, regular people who just do this for the community or it's a real limitation on hardware which also could be um but we'll see so what should we do I mean, the scrolling through the YouTube page is surprisingly smooth. Can't lie there. A very important information as well is I have a pie hole on my network, which filters all the stuff out. So that helps it, obviously. Um, but oh well. Why don't we? Why don't we go and uh, play a YouTube video? Let's actually play a YouTube video from my other channel. Let's see if it finds you there. Yeah, there it is. All right, let's load this video. We are now. I'm gonna turn off here. Um, just uh, yeah, right now I'm quite happy with it. <laughs> I mean, it's not playing at high quality, 480p. Let's see, 720, and. This being a um, non-Full HD display, there is no point in going higher, honestly. <laughs> um, let's see what this display is. Displays. 1280 by 800, this is, this is uh, HD. So there's no point in going to Full HD. So now it's playing in 720, 60 frames. I heard the um, fan kick up, ramp up. And right now it's using 3 gigs of RAM and yeah it's a little more on the load even though haha there are user 73 and system 19 <laughs> which means yeah it's yeah it's a, working a bit but anyway not too bad there you go this is playing absolutely smooth no frame drops, no issues with playback. So Safari did a good job. Safari is known to do this. Let's just crank it up to 1080 just for the sake of it. <laughs> Computer's like, so what? Here you go, 1080p. You want it, you get it. No problem at all. 1080, 60 frames per second on Monterey. <laughs> which is again supposed to have graphic problems which I can see slightly but they're really not interfering with using it which is something I really didn't expect I actually thought this was going to be a deal breaker but apparently not so let's try something the same I mean you saw some lag there but then again it's playing back a 1080p video I'm gonna try the same now on Firefox and see how that will do Shut up your Firefox moment. See how well it works on Firefox. Yep, except. 
it's a tad slower, I can tell, but also the scrolling stuff is fine. This is incredible. I mean, really, honestly, guys, I didn't expect like this to be fast or like super usable, but it is. You see it here. YouTube is definitely not a lightweight website nowadays. And again, I have a pie hole on the on the network, so that helps the system. But still, I mean, this is. There you go. Scroll through this stuff. Let's play back. See how we'll do. Also, audio works, as you can tell. <laughs> um, all right, let's crank it to 720. See how that will do. It's buffering a little longer on Firefox and on Safari. So, got to hand it to Safari. Safari is doing pretty well with this old system. Nice, nice, but also totally watchable. Let's crank it up to 1080p. Again, longer buffer. Oh, stutter. Stutter, stutter. Is it going? It's buffering. So we have a little glitch here. Okay, well. Uh, was that too much for it? Try reloading here. <laughs> Man, it really didn't like the 1080p, huh? Did it? Uh, hmm. Well, guys, there you go. He plays it. The truth be told, I love Firefox to death. It's a browser I use every day. But on this use case, Firefox is worse than Safari from YouTube perspective. It's still usable. It's like a tad slower But when you have nothing else opened Safari is better like from this very subjective quick test But not that this is any like super worse. This is just a bit slower a bit more sluggish Let's see how much re resources it needs About the same CPU load a little bit more RAM, but around the same yeah <laughs> but really guys this is something i didn't expect not at all not in the slightest i expected this to be loading to be laggy to be choppy on playback sometimes well done i mean also well done to the guys who uh, made the patches on awesome guys you did a great job, like making this so smooth and so easy to install as if you're almost doing it natively on a native uh, Monterey install. Oh my god. Yeah, Wikipedia is not a heavy website. Let's go to The Verge. It's more heavy. So, what can I say? I mean, this is again only a very quick, brief, like super subjective test, but I can tell this is usable, absolutely. If like you're just doing lightweight stuff and browsing YouTube, maybe watch us on Netflix. I'm not gonna log into my Netflix now, but it's probably fine as well. This stuff can be done. And honestly, that's the reason why you keep those old laptops around, honestly, um, to do these basic things, basic computing tasks. Um, <laughs> surprisingly to me, it works really well. So I'm going to try another time here with this stock app or the, the maps. Let's see if the maps work. Let's see if that wants to work. All right. Hmm. They seem to have an issue here. Uh, those metal like iPad stuff apps, those are struggling. But it's not that like you really need those. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, okay, <laughs> those aren't gonna work, I suppose. Maybe there's something with the like integrated graphics not being compatible or what. I don't know, guys. I have to force quit it there, <laughs> but like the rest of the system works surprisingly good. 
not a whole lot of problems so far which are pretty honestly I was expecting this to go like this we install it we're gonna have graphic glitches it's gonna be slow it's gonna be unusable or just not pleasant and I would roll this back to whatever different version but right now <laughs> I think I'm gonna, gonna keep it on Monterey which is insane that's something I really didn't expect let's see if the calculator works please calculator yes calculator there you go you don't believe how much I use the calculator application on the computer um let's play back a video file all right let's do that for the end here <clears throat> if it connects it yep I mean, honestly this is a brand new operating system so why should it not work you know i always for, keep forgetting that <laughs> oh we have another glitch but that might be server side glitch here what we just had let's try this again oh it's working fine <laughs> yeah it's a little laggy like a little glitchy but not the end of the world glitchy and it does need to fear with the usability which is surprising to me honestly that's something i really didn't expect i thought this is going to be the deal breaker which it's not <laughs> crazy stuff crazy stuff let's go here old youtube videos see what we what we have here see if the, the controls here work yep that works keyboard brightness works <laughs> This works, this works. I mean, this is just like a normal like Mac as if Apple did that from the factory. All right. Um, so this is a really recent video I made and it's also in 1080p. Why is it opening up with Apple TV? I mean, obviously that's not gonna work again. Why is this not working? <laughs> what? Okay. But we don't want this. I mean, this works. Cool, I guess. Cool. But it's not what I wanted. Then we'll open with QuickTime. QuickTime. That's what we need. This was actually... <laughs> Honestly, folks, I am baffled by how good this thing performs. This is streaming now 1080p video from my server via QuickTime. No frame drops at all. Oh my God. Those, those like um, Sandy Bridge processors, they still have a lot of life left in them, which honestly I didn't expect. I expected this to be like an old processor, like almost ready to, you know, be thrown out, but no. I'm so, so surprised, oh my God. And imagine like this hasn't been serviced. This is like a neglected old machine. If I service this, it's gonna run cooler. It's even better then. There you go, no frame drops. <laughs> I am done. I'm done. I can definitely say, use it. Use it on Monterey. If you want, use it. <laughs> it's really, if those little lags here, like if they're not bothering you, go ahead. You can browse the internet. We can watch YouTube, probably Netflix fine as well. We can do all easy uh, office tasks, you know, with ease, without having to wait around, letting it load stuff. Wow, just wow. So what I wanna try for the end here, maybe we can improve this a bit by disabling the transparency effects, which again, I like those, don't get me wrong. Those are cool. But maybe we can make it so it's a bit less stressed. Um, but before I'm gonna change that wallpaper because it's not my favorite thing about Mac OS Monterey. Let's say like this. What is this? They have so many beautiful wallpapers and then they choose this line gradient crap. Okay, needs to be downloaded, then downloaded. Oh, is it really that big of a file? Holy shit. There you go. Oh, that's much better. Okay. <laughs> now with that, we can try to go into, uh, where is it? Accessibility, I think it was. Access. 
says Billy. Uh, it's stupid to see it. There it is. <laughs> Display. Reduce motion. Reduce transparency. I think that's, yep, transparency. So as you see, now it's non-transparent anymore. Yeah, the lag is still there. So I suppose this is like getting compatibility with the iGPU. What is reduce motion? What is this now? Probably the animations, no? Okay. I don't know what it did now. <laughs> I think it did nothing. Or am I wrong? Let's see. Oh, it looks the same to me. I'm gonna leave it off. Inward colors. There you go. That's the funny edition of macOS. <laughs> dark mode, but other dark mode. No, really, this is cool. I am so pleased that I can report how well it works gonna close it and open it up and see if the um, uh, sleep wake works is it in sleep now it's not pulsating it should be pulsating here yep there it is it's in sleep okay let's see what happens when we fold it up You gotta be kidding me, instant. <laughs> so what is there more to say? I can say guys, if you have a 2011 MacBook Pro and you have for whatever reason the desire that you need Monterey, go ahead and install it. I mean, there's nothing to lose. Probably Big Sur is the better choice because I think there they figured out the graphics problem, like this glitch problem, so you have a better like user experience. Now it's even smoother, what the hell? But you get it. Um, but if you want Monterey for the features, I don't even know what the difference are, then please be my guest. It's a real good port or like a good patch they did. Props to the guys who made this again. You have my full respect to keep those old things on the still, you know, alive and and just um, usable. Because one day we're gonna need stuff like this because the applications they're all gonna be for the newer versions of macOS. And so if you have this old thing still laying around, you want to use it for whatever. There you go, twelve six one on an old. MacBook Pro, absolutely recommended. Go ahead and do it. It's it's good. <laughs> Something I didn't expect to say.